bigger. My dad in Australia gets a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Kayla Mayer, it is oh. Mel PR for IFL TV. Hello. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, yeah. So I'm here because. Because I told him if he ever wanted another interview that he was going to have to do a little sum sum for me. I don't know, I haven't thought about it yet. That's why you're making Mel do it. <laughs> so we're going to just get a little reaction after the post, you know, press conference. How was your press conference? Did you, did you imagine it to go the way that it did? Yeah. Um, you know, we've talked enough. We've done all the talking. I've said everything I've had to say. And so this wasn't about, you know, digging deep and throwing out any more trash talk. To me, this was just about wrapping up this fight week, getting excited about such an amazing event. And I'm in fight mode now, so I'm ready to go. Fantastic. So do you have any predictions on how things are going to go at this stage for Saturday night? Same prediction I always have. <laughs> I, I, I plan on taking embarrassing Baumgartner. We'll see if she can handle pressure, yeah. but I think she's going to crumble. Well, obviously, I can see Coogan edging in to want to interview you, but obviously, um, are you? Is that okay? Are you, do you forgive him for what he did to you? I'll leave it to you, darling. All right, but I'm still gonna get you back. I'm just thinking of something no, good. good. <laughs> you don't know. Two questions. What was being said in the uh, head's head? We couldn't really hear it. What was being said between you and Alicia? Oh, I just, I just told her. I said, "Why'd you bring that IBO belt? You know, I carved it out of the contract. It's not on the line." I said, but I left it as a gift for you. Um, she told me I look weight drained, but really I just look nice and skinny. I feel great. She shouldn't be worried about that. I think that she is focused on the fact that she thinks I'm like drained for making this weight, and she thinks I have no power. So these, her looking past these things, I feel great. I have the best nutritionist company in the world. I feel I'm great right now, um, and I do have power. So she's in for a big surprise. So if people know the context of my next question, they'll understand. If they don't, they're going to think I'm disrespectful. Who's the dog in the fight? I am, will be the dog. I will gladly be the dog. I'm glad she knows who the dog is. She can be the dog walker, whatever she wants that to be. She doesn't really know what she is. She doesn't really know what she's saying. Like, to me, if that's your whole campaign for the fight, you're the dog walker, like, know your lines. Don't call yourself the dog also. But she's right. I am the dog. And she's definitely going to be in a dog fight. I'm the dog and I'm not least trained, like I said. We've got to address the turnout here. It's absolutely unbelievable. Um, the amount of people here, the media here, etc. The interest levels around equally your fight and also Shields and Marshall has been phenomenal. Amazing. I mean, I imagined it would be awesome like this, but it's definitely exceeding my expectations. The hype around it, everyone's showing up for it. Like, these are two mega fights. This is def Bob's right. Bob Aram is right. This is going down history for sure. Sorry, it's a bit awkward then. Um, okay, so your final prediction. Uh, two days out from the fight at the O2. Loads of tickets sold. Uh, it's going to be a full watching audience. Your final prediction. Um, I'm going to back Baumgartner up and make her crumble behind pressure. She cannot handle pressure. We've seen it before. She's never been in there with someone like me. And you guys are going to see her crumble. I'll check it as well. Thanks. Very Spice Girls. Oh, that Mel C clip was unreal, wasn't it? I know. I know. So maybe you can wear red for fight night and make it up to me. Yeah, but is that like the, the gangs, like red, blue? Yeah. Not in the no? UK. It is in the UK, yeah. You Whatever. Can't Just risk your life. The gang for will me. mess you up. You can't risk your life for me. <laughs> Michaela Mayer, thank you very much for your time. Shields and Marshall press conference about to start. Best of luck, and we'll catch up with you again soon. Thank okay. you. See you guys. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, my dad in the street gets a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.